A lovely Christmas story. In the good old days, you had one baker, one butcher's, one pharmacy, the church and the castle and the prison just beside, one broadcaster, one record company, one publisher, and the public meeting place was safely harboured within tall, high, strong walls. I was safely harboured by the law, which had to be respected by all. But beyond the fortifications outside the city, the deep, dark forest was lurking, inhabited only by witches and wizards preparing dangerous mixtures. That was the way it was, but then things changed. You see, people got agitated and started using their brains. And this led to amazing discoveries, technological progress allowing people to survive in the forest. Everyone connected to everything and everyone else through services created and offered by a bunch of merry men who ruled the forest. And everyone started communicating and chatting and creating in every tree and on every branch. Some played, some showed things, some liked, some disliked, and pretty much everyone voiced an opinion. Some linked, some archived, some mined, some downloaded, and some uploaded, some published. And all of this was happening with absolutely no control by the king of the castle. And that the king did not like. You see, the king had always been there to defend right holders. Control meant money, and money meant power. Everyone in the castle was displeased. (gasps) Stop this nonsense, said the king. Let's filter the forest and remove all this noise. Of course, he knew there was no way he could do it, so he came up with a cunning plan. He would let the merry men of the forest be the cops. A private police force with robots going through everything in every tree. But, but, no, this won't happen. Because this dystopian dream of monitoring every piece of content in the world is not a new one. But at the same time, it is also not legal. And as well as that, experts say it costs a lot and doesn't really work that well. Oh, And did we mention that the so-called cultural industries have had record revenues year in, year out? And despite that, of course, have continued distributing remuneration amongst creators in the most inequitable manner. So, in 2018, for the first time ever, the common good will prevail, leaving the internet in its current state open and full of noise. For 2018, let's try and make things creative, enlightening, curious, scientific, diverse, and non-filtered. Let's make it happen.